Setting up a business is hard enough. Setting it up in this economic climate is well nigh impossible. As for getting funding from the banks, forget it. So entrepreneurs are having to seek out some imaginative solutions, whether it's sourcing funds from digital sites, from each other, or the generosity of crowds. It's a small market, but one that's growing fast. Our business correspondent, Sarah Smith, will be investigating the future of Britain's business over the coming months, starting tonight with cash, where they get it and how. Move Free are unlike any other company in Britain. They are the only ones who make dairy-free milk chocolate. But they aren't the only ones to have found a new way to borrow money. They had to, after seven different banks all refused them a loan. We approached several banks, uh, all of which turned us down in the end. Why did they turn you down? Most of them it was because they said we didn't make a profit in the previous year, which was our first year of the company. What we'd done is we'd reinvested all the money we'd made back into more machinery, staff and more research. All the big banks claim they want to lend to businesses like this, but say they aren't being asked for the loans. Well, this firm asked. One bank said no in less than 24 hours, while another left them waiting four months before saying no. The British economy can't really get going without small companies like Move Free. And companies like this can't really get going unless they've got access to finance. It is a problem that's been going on for years. And the government have tried threats and inducements to get the banks lending again. But still, companies like this are having to look elsewhere to get the loans they need. In the end, they got the cash to buy new machinery in less than a week from what's called peer-to-peer -peer lending, cutting out the banks completely thanks to firms like Funding Circle. These people have already introduced 50,000 small investors to needy British businesses. 12 million pounds a month is flowing in. With interest rates so low, savers are looking beyond the banks to get a better rate of return. Eventually, the banks will want this business back, but will it be too late by then? I'm hoping it'll be the same story as, as we've seen unfold in many other industries like music, um, books, um, on travel, I think that the incumbents in those industries for a long time thought, you know, there's this strange thing happening on the internet, but it doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect our core business. Um, and then they'll wake up one day and actually find that, you know, t you know 10 to 20% of the market or, or even more has, has moved. Artificial grass is on the move at Grono in Manchester, thanks to a huge new retail contract. The problem? They couldn't import all the stock they needed without a short-term loan. And even with that guaranteed contract, the bank still said no. We've just got a contract with um, a, a national re retailer over here and we were ready to go and ready to take people off the, do off the dole and, and employ them. And I, I would have expected, especially since the government were instructing them, to give some help to small businesses. Grono were only saved by a credit line from their Chinese suppliers finding the support overseas that wasn't available on home turf. This is your chance to own part of BrewDog. And me, and of the wheel. Scottish no, beer makers no, BrewDog no, raised over a million pounds in just 24 hours when they launched their latest Equity for Punks. And with you as an Equity Punk, there's no telling how far we can go. Offering their own customers the chance to buy part of the business. We've grown from our humble origins. It certainly looks a lot more fun than investing in the FTSE. This is equity for punks. If you invest your money in traditional stocks and shares, you might make a decent return, you might even get paid an annual dividend, but it is very unlikely that you will get free beer. That's what's on offer if you invest with BrewDog instead. And a lifetime's discount off their craft beers plus a share of the business might sound tempting, but is it safe? Savers investing directly into small businesses like this might make better returns than they'd get from a bank, but they're also taking much greater risks. There are no guarantees that BrewDog or any of these companies will definitely succeed. Investors need to know they could lose everything. With these things, you've always got to go in there with, with eyes open. Um, I think, all, as I said earlier, putting your, all your eggs in one basket is a terrible idea. Um, but I think investing sort of a few hundred quid here and there is is, is, is something that I'm willing to lose for, for the opportunity for, for doing something big and changing the world. Peer-to-peer -peer lending might change the world. Introducing investors directly to borrowers could be the future of business finance. But it's not risk-free. In fact, it's not even regulated. And just like ordinary stocks and shares, investments can go down as well as up.